So my name is Lawrence Linciano and this is my shanty town art junk world. And um, yeah, have a look around. And this all came about from one day I walked towards Biddyford in the morning and I got chased by a storm and I got blinded by a thunderbolt. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but trust me, I know my stuff. I've done some research and um, that's it basically. And uh, since then I've been creating all this crazy stuff and writing poetry like a demon and all things arty. That's it really. Okay, I've been doing this um, art since 2009. And this stuff you see now is what I've done in lockdown. You know, because why if you're in lockdown, there's no need to kind of close your mind down. So that's what I've been doing, kind of keeping busy and uh, going with the flow. Thank you. All right, this is Radio Gaga. It's a um, concrete mold, which um, I just filled with um, sand and cement. She got spark plugs for nipples radio for her head obviously and there's a solar light on the top and antenna in the night she sparkles lovely uh, that one is like uh, a murder maid she's a bit crippled as you can see she got crutches for the, the tail and the fin and um, she got sorry to say she got shot in the tip but there you are And this one is a genie, a Middle Eastern genie. I thought of that after a few uh, glasses of gin, because gin is gin is genie. And um, yeah, and that's another mermaid, a bit scary, but um, yeah, it's all good fun, really, you know. Right, this one here was a, a blackbird I found in a hedgerow. It must have flown into it and got stuck and then died, so it's kind of mummified. But it had his feet cut off by a hedge trimmer. So whether that happened when it was in the hedge or not, I don't know. But then I had some pheasant claws, so I transplanted some pheasant claws into it, so it's got like big front of feet now. But yeah, that uh, was a blackbird, that was a gold bird. And up there is a mummified rabbit I found in an old shed. I sprayed it a few colours and um, put on a plaque and give it a cross so it's kind of a hot cross bun. Sig hair holder, you know what I mean? Cigar, sig hair. This was like um, Senorita nipple out there, you know what I mean? I used to stick my cigars in the nipples and... Uh, you know. Okay, this is a poem called No Cease, No Seos. It means knowledge of knowledge. And it happened back in 2009 on a cold winter's morning and it goes like this I woke up one morning as the new day was dawning I get dressed it's a new day I felt humbled and blessed I look through the window to see what I could see a raging storm on a heading towards me I leave my room I hear a noise I hear a big loud boom I go downstairs I step outside. There are elements in the air. Two different worlds are about to collide. I stayed calm. I said, God damn. Then came the wind and then came the rain. In 28 minutes time, my life would never be the same again. I hit the road, head of a town. Rain on my face, my head bowed down. Then I looked to the skies and what a surprise. A magnificent rainbow a thousand feet high it sprang from left to right over the river made my spine tingle and shiver it touched the earth side to side to my delight I could not hide the colors were so bright and clear I reached up and touched it as it was so close and near then as it faded away I thought to myself what a brilliant start to the day I kept walking along singing a song hoping that this day be long then all of a sudden there's a big flash of light i was actually blinded i closed my eyes tight i thought again what's happened here there was no speed camera near there were cars going past they weren't traveling fast so what could it be i was shocked the storm was chasing me an event on the earth's horizon took place as i stopped and wondered a thunderbolt lit up my face. By Jupiter, 
By lightning I was struck, and it wasn't by luck. It was the right time, the right place. The storm knew who to chase. My eyes were flashed, my pupils were slashed, as the thunder and lightning around me clashed. It's a date I'll always remember. 2009 AD, 2nd of December. And now I am the anointed Christ of Paradise, no longer lost, as I alone walk upon this earth's ground. By the gods of ancient Rome, I have been blessed and found. My journey to the afterlife has been signed and sealed. Enter the Welsh Red Dragon, New Times Roman, flaming through the star-studded gates of the Elysium field. For on that glorious, victorious, stormy morning in England, my soul was set free by the mother of invention when she took a film roll in thunder, lightning speed flash camera, panoramic, supersonic, flashbang motherfucking photograph of me. Ad Astra to the stars I can see. With love from the whole of the skies, I am on destiny's course to fulfill a written off prophecy. Please stop, it was a pleasure shock. As she come so quick, she gave me a kiss and a squeeze. Now only for my beautiful goddess, I will bow my head and fall to my knees. Hallelujah, it's Godmother. <laughs> That's it. A few more bits in here, I mean, I, I call her Queen Ant, leader and mother of the psychedelic ant people. That's her hair with a suede jammer. It's like a sword, a sword swinging genie. Basically, it's just like in pictures up there. It's, it's all done in old bits of wood and stuff. So I mean, you don't have to buy canvas or anything. Or I go to the recycling centre and buy an old picture and just paint over it. And, uh, yeah, it's all kind of random junk. This one then. This one is just a mask, but I filled with expanding foam onto a bird cage. Then put a, a drain pipe through its backwards head. And then wind it up, a bit of scaffolding board, and I got myself a genie. Genius, don't you think? Okay, so if anyone's interested and you like what you see, and uh, well, some things are for sale. So, like I said, if you want to come have a look, get in touch, and the number is 0750321 0879. Says the genie. Thank you.